Hello, welcome to A Priori Story Timeless. I'm here with Paco. You want to lay down here? Would that be okay? And Bob. You want to say hi, Bob? Okay. This is the story of the child of water. Once upon a time, four monsters lived on the earth. They were horrible monsters. They loved to catch the people and eat them. This did not make them very popular with the people. Whenever the monsters approach, all the people ran away. One night, a monster stomped up to the wiki up of Child of Water and his mother. Before his mother could stop him, Child of Water challenged the monster to a contest. Here are the rules, said Child of Water. He carefully explained that he would be on one side and the monster would be on the other. Both sides would have a chance to shoot four arrows at each other at the same time. Whichever killed the other first would get all the food. Do you accept these rules and promise to obey them, chanted Child of Water in the way of the people. Child of Water was only a very small boy, but he knew the chant was binding. It was a promise that must be kept. I'll play your silly game, laughed the monster. First, first I'll shoot you full of arrows, then I'll eat you, your mother, and all your food. Just thinking about this satisfying treat had the monster smacking his lips hungrily. As both fighters took their positions, Child of Water leaned down and picked up a turquoise blue rock. The rock was a gift from the gods, a thing of protection. But Child of Water did not know that. While he was looking at his rock, the monster quickly shot four arrows at Child of Water. This was against the rules. Child of Water <clears throat> knew that the monster did not care. Much to his surprise, all the monster's arrows missed the child of water. Quickly, before the monster could do anything else against the rules, child of water shot an arrow at the monster. The arrow pierced the monster's heart, killed him dead. By then, everyone had gathered around. It was obvious that the devil dancers were among them. What a noise they made that night, rejoicing. The next day, Child of Water's mother bore a hole in that lucky blue rock. She strung it into a necklace. Ever after, Child of Water wore the blue rock around his neck for love and luck. Over time, Child of Water found many blue rocks. He made a wonderful necklace for his mother to keep her safe as well. As time went on, and as Child of Water grew taller, each monster came to challenge him. Each time, wearing his lucky blue rock, each monster's arrows missed Child of Water. But Child of Water's arrows killed each monster every time, until all the monsters were gone. As all Apache children know, it is a wise thing to hunt for turquoise blue rocks. If you find one, you too might find yourself some luck. Thank you, everybody. Thank you all. You awake now, Paco? Okay.